As far as Warren's legacy, when I first came to OU, I wrote a letter to President Warren not expecting a response. I said, thank you for I've always wanted to go to college, this opportunity is great. And he actually responded within two days and said, I know you will make a difference. And he underlined will. And the fact that he did that told me that, wow, I need to make a difference this year. I need to make a difference in these next four years. You can go up and take a picture with Debo anytime you run into him. And he always remembers your name. I, I, I always find that really inspiring because you know, 30,000 students here, he's been here for 25 years yet, but he remembers everybody's name. He, he remembers stuff about you too. It was really nice to be able to go and talk to him because he actually listens to the students and he doesn't just kind of brush you off like you would expect somebody to do for just like a simple SGA matter, but he actually listened to what I was saying. You know, I've had many conversations about different things and, and just, he's so intentional. Um, in his conversations. So I think that's one thing David Warren has been known for is actually his compassion for students and actually listening to what they want and then helping us implement things to fix problems that he's hearing or concerns that he hears and I think that's something that previously hadn't been done. That's going to be his greatest legacy. The way he's ha he has influenced all the students that have gone through here, whether they be grad students, PhD, undergraduate, any kind of major, 